and we rush headlong into part two. Um, essentially, yeah, I'm just repeating this that Mo's uh, putting the device or the blank in the right place on the plate. I've got my thumb in front of the camera and uh, poor guy was struggling because I was standing right over the top of him. Um, you close the door and you can see the little micro switches just up at the top there and uh, we're basically ready to roll. Um, we've got dust extraction running and we're pretty much ready to run. So she's going to go, we're going to press go, going to move to a home position and then we'll pause for a second. Um, essentially, actually, I think what we were doing, it was going to run on extra slow, which is uh, best for milling cork blanks. Uh, but because we're milling a medium density, then we can run it on fast or very fast. Um, this uh, left-hand blank, I think it is, uh, we're running on uh, fast. So I think it ends up being about eight minutes aside. Very fast, I believe about seven. So, trying to get the camera back on the tripod. And the thing makes an extremely, uh, there we are, fairly snug in the little room that uh, our mill is sitting in. Um, not an enormous footprint. It can just sit on the bench. Um, unlike the uh, the Amphit mills that I've seen. So we have a dust extraction system. Um, one that comes with the Orthema mill and uh, we have another as well. Um, the one that uh, runs with the mill is uh, unbelievably powerful um, but uh, we're running them in a, a small cupboard the other side of the wall now I think I'm going to struggle talk about anything exciting. It's uh, presently 1am uh, on Saturday evening and uh, I've just rapidly put part two together. Once I've finished narrating this one um, I'll uh, go on to part three and hopefully uh, get a bit of sleep and then at some point tomorrow I'll, uh, I'll get some screen video done for you. I'm going to get uh, narration to uh, to join you at the end.
I'll draw a little bit of narration again. We're about three quarters of the way through the blank. Um, as you can see, we're using a, an oversized blank. And uh, as we were discussing, it really just cuts your inventory down. If you're using single density blanks, then uh, that's great. Um, no problem whatsoever. Even dual density blanks, we carry um, either one or two sizes, usually a, a, a Euro 42. Um, so about a size 7, 8 UK shoe size um, and we'll carry Euro 48 and that really gives us a very widespread um, we carry about 4 different types of blank um, but uh, as I think uh, what I will try to do as well is send you some uh, some blanks that you can have a look at and some, some more devices uh, so you can have a nose at those as well um, before we go through 